Hi, right, folks. I'm Nathan with Two Guys in a Ride, and today we're out here at the Chanhassen Autoplex. We're here with Mike and this fantastic garage that Thank he has, you. this crime-fighting garage. So, Mike, tell us a little bit about your garage. Well, um, this is a, a new garage, actually, that I've had for about a, about a year and a half, and uh, I've been in the, in the security systems business for about well, over 50 years, so I thought at one point, I started out with muscle cars, and I thought, you know, I should have a crime fighter car garage. So um, I would say about five, six, seven years ago, we started with a Batmobile and uh, added cars that, for the most part, were involved with crime fighting. Okay. Most of them are fantasy crime fighters. They're not, you know, uh, uh, but they were usually all on TV or, or in movies. And uh, so the culmination is, is that we've made this, this crime fighter garage. Uh, and I think you're going to look at this mural that we've had, which is kind of like a, a Batman uh, mural that's on the wall. It's 18 feet by it's 33. It's beautiful. It's pretty spectacular. It yeah. Is. That's really the heart of the garage right now. And then underneath it are two Batmobiles. One is a 1966, which was actually signed by Adam West. I was fortunate enough to meet him. Wow. And, uh, and the other one is from the 1989 uh, Michael Keaton played Batmobile, and that's the one where it shot all the fire out the back and the guns oh, are coming yeah. up the front and everything. It's pretty cool when you watch it in the movie. And they're right underneath the mural, which seemed like a really you know fitting place Absolutely. to go there. Yeah. So what I tried to do with this, and then we can we can look at some cars, is that um, I've we've uh, developed this into a 501 C3. Okay. Because at the Chan has an autoplex. We've always had raised money for charity. Correct. And yes. uh, being with these, these kind of cars, uh, we always get a lot of kids and families and everybody through. And uh, thought, well, maybe there's a way we can use the cars and, and actually contribute more money or raise some more money, whether it be go to events or help people that are doing events by bringing a couple of the cars and maybe a character or two and helping them get more people and raise more money. And the, the source of the garage will be to help law enforcement, uh, first responders, um, those types of folks. Okay. All right. And uh, those are associated with crime fighting right. and, and, and helping people. What a perfect so combination. So that's, that's what we're, that's what we're going to be spending the time doing now. Awesome. Well, Mike, we are excited to uh, take a review of your uh, some of your cars you have here. Great. And so for those of you watching, there will be a couple cars coming up, uh, all from Mike's collection. So let's get started. You're on. All right, so Mike, now we're outside of your garage, and we've got we've got two crime fighting cars. Yes, out we here. do. Yes, so we do. <laughs> let's let's start with this one on my right here, because I recognize well, this one. Oh my gosh, this is probably one of the most recognizable crime fighting cars ever, and this is the uh, so-called striped tomato, yes, or zebra three that was driven by Starsky and Hutch. Gosh. Okay, and they would they would drive around. They would go see Huggy Bear, if you remember. He uh -huh. was their informant, and then um, then they would go catch criminals. And what was cool about it is that I, I don't know. Everybody must have known. All the criminals must have known what car they were. It wasn't much of an undercover <laughs> car. Right? No. And if you notice the Kojak light up on top, yep. they would pull it up on top, put it on, plug it in, and the next thing you know, they're they're going through the streets chasing criminals. Uh, this is a replica car. Absolutely, yes, okay. it's a replica. But it is a genuine replica. I mean, you've gone to some pretty in-depth detail to make sure that it's... Well, uh, what I try and do, I try and find, them, find the cars in as good condition as I can. This particular one came from a dealer out in Arizona who's Actual, I was telling you the actual name. His name was Hutch, uh, which was kind of crazy. But uh, the guy that had this before had it all restored and and would take it to car shows. So when I got it, there was really very little that, that I had, had that I had to do with this car. It's just gorgeous. The paint is gorgeous. The interior was all redone. It's got a uh, 351 engine. The 351. Um, the engine compartment is gorgeous. The wheels and tires are correct. Of course, it's got the Kojak light. Yep. I, know, I see on your license plate, 
Yes. That you that you did the uh, the tomato striped the striped right. tomato off off not on camera but offset they would call this car the striped tomato. So that's what I put on the license plate. Yeah. I, I I think that's a nice touch. Yeah. I, I, I like that. Yeah. Okay. So up on the uh, on the front end, you were talking about the the front lights do flash. Yes. Yeah. They they look like like you would see in the in the TV show coming down the street. Coming down the the street. lights flashing, the siren going, and the Kojak light up on top. fun to see that so it's also fun because if you get behind a slow driver sometime <laughs> you can turn on the lights and the siren and <coughs> believe me they pull over yeah oh it's yeah, loud. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. this is yeah. A, like the actual siren yeah, oh, and God. then they'll the police officer will ask him well, what was the driver's uh what was the license plate Did you get the license plate of the car he said something like striped tomato <laughs> yeah you know whatever <laughs> and then depending on their age they'll figure it out going to... uh, okay yeah. Yeah, yeah, don't don't worry about that ticket. Yeah. So it's a nice car. It's very you know, and everybody comes in here, comes into the garage, knows the striped tomato and Starsky and Hutch car. Well, it just stands out, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. It oh, man. You have an actual plate or a different plate on the front. Right. This was this was a plate that was on when the you car bought when I bought it, but it's actually I think what the they called it Zebra 3. That was the radio, you know, Zebra 3, right. Zebra 3. But this was the plate number that was on the car. On the, the show. Start, on the show. Okay. Right? I'm pretty sure, yeah. Nice. Yeah. That's always fun to have all those little touches. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, it's, it's a little stuff. It's a little stuff. Yeah. I like your uh, little uh, yeah. toy replica in the windshield. Yeah. That I think I actually got before I got the car. You know, so you kind of do, you get, I do kind of things backwards. You get the replica, uh, then you get the then car. Then they get the car. Yeah, well, yeah. then you can dream a little bit. Yeah, huh? exactly. Um, so I think 76 was probably with about the last year they made the Grand Torino. I think but so. This, this body style, and then it divided up into a couple of other different uh, types. But yeah, the, I, I think love that stripe. <laughs> that's it. Now they they were. Um, I think Ford did make about a thousand of these uh, back in the day, right from the factory. Okay. This is not one of them, but there are a number of them out there still out there that uh, were actually made striped tomatoes right from the factory. Right from the factory. Yeah, so that was a pretty cool deal that Ford would actually They'd think the car was that, that Well, it was a very enough. popular car from yeah. the show, so Absolutely. I would think it would make sense for them to capitalize on that. Yeah, very so, recognizable. Let's talk about the interior for a minute here. This is beautifully restored. Man. It is. Uh, the gentleman who restored this did a great job uh, with, the, of course, put the Zebra 3 police radio, radio in there. Radio in. And then the buttons there worked the four different sounds for the sirens and the flashing lights. But the way they, they did the interior and everything, it's just it's, it's just like it came right, right, off out the of, shit. Right, out, right off the showroom floor yeah. in, uh, in uh, 1976. Wow. Yeah. So now the dashboard... Would, I mean, it's yeah, it's exactly like it would have been on the show. So you've got all the same gauges, same all thing. the same things, yeah. the same setup. Most of it outside of the radio and the and the, of course the paint job was when he hung it, that, put his yeah, hand out yeah, right like yeah, this. That was right, to put the. Then you uh, knew they were on. Now, now on you the knew way. they're on their way after somebody. <laughs> yeah. Um, how many miles does this actually have? This on? has about 65,000 miles on it. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's not bad. Not bad at all. And considering that almost every nut and bolt in this has been restored, you know. So it had a frame off restoration. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It, it is absolutely yeah. stunning here. Did it have cruise control or is that a horn button? No, that was cruise control. That's cruise control. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And then you just had you had air conditioning. Yeah, actually, yeah. And I'm not even sure Starsky and Hutch had air conditioning. Maybe they did, but yeah, this car is air conditioned. Yeah. Um, of course, then you just had the regular gauges up there. So but this was this was a pretty well loaded Torino was. back in the day. It was. Yeah, Grand Torino, I should say. Yeah. Can we open up the trunk and take a look inside? Sure. Well, we have a little bit of stuff in here. We have, you know, another license plate okay. and a car cover. But uh, and a spare tire. A spare but, tire. But again, it's like the rest of the car, and of course a detail bag. But like the rest of the car, this was fully restored too, and it's uh, 
you can see it's really well done. It, it Whoever is. did it did a great did job. A really, oh, they did a really yeah, nice job. Yeah, and all the seals, all the seals are around there new. Oh, yeah. And uh, it, it originally would have had a carpet. Probably would have, or right something like this. Yeah. Something oh, yeah, like this. To, yeah. The Grand Torino for yep. sure would have. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Man, nice full size spear. You don't see that much very no. anymore, do you? No, you don't. Now, was this your, uh, your gas tank fill right here? Right here is a gas tank fill. Yep. Okay. Yep. That's it's interesting how in the years they change the 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 well the front and the back ends of the Torinos, but that this is a really nice style. Yeah, and it actually has if you can see here too, it actually has uh, air suspension in the back, so you can make you know the stance of the car. A little bit different. A little bit different, if, if you, you want. Oh, yeah. if you want. Okay. Yeah. Now, that wouldn't have been on the, the, the movie set. but Probab that's, Probably not. But, but but it's nice to have so you can raise it up to look yeah, like. Yeah, because if it, it the car has to be at the right angle. Right. I, to me. Right. To make it look like, like, it, the, like, like it should like, look. Like a tomato, yes. Yeah. yeah. Can we pop the hood and take a look at the engine? Sure. So Ooh, I, I'm sure this nice. is, again, the, the restoration of the engine, I think they, they just did a beautiful job. Um, they put in... Um, a big aluminum radiator. Mm -hmm. You need that for chasing you for down, chasing especially because they're in California. It could have been 100 degrees. degrees. You don't want to overheat. Uh, so the car is air conditioned. But this one was uh, 351, just 351 two barrel. Okay. I'm not really sure what the one in the show was, but I'm sure they were. I think they may have had some 429s or something in them, but okay. But uh, I'm not really sure. This is, uh, but this is so nicely redone. I mean, just everything is so clean and so nice. I like the different, the, the Ford Blue, right, on the uh, on the air cleaner right. down the on the engine top of the engine there. Wow. And this and this is the way you bought it. This is the way I bought it. Okay. So uh, since you've bought it, have you done anything to the car besides the license plate? No. Okay, so this is this is great. I mean, it's, it's nice to be able to find the car this this great of a Usually shape. doesn't happen. Usually, How long did you look for this car? That's a good question. Um, I when you on and off. On, on, about it. I, well, I had one before. I had okay. one about five years ago. Okay, uh, but it wasn't uh, as nice as this one. Oh my God, no! It was really kind of. Uh, Okay. Yeah, and uh, and I sold it. And I was always sorry I sold it, but I knew if I wanted to get another one, it wasn't going to be the quality that the one that I had was. So um, uh, probably about two two years. Okay. And then you just keep checking eBay and all the different places for, it, and eventually one will come up. Some of them that came up, like the ones that I was talking about, that were the Ford ones, the right. original ones. They wanted so much money for them. Okay. And. Quite honestly, they weren't anywhere near as nice as this and, and one. I, I, you know, I, I think this is more authentic, actually, because um, on the show, they would have had to paint the stripe. Absolutely. So to buy a factory paint stripe is not as original as just buying one and then putting the stripe on. Right. You know, when you think about it that way. Yeah. There's so, any, well, diff, any bunch of different ways you can look at it. The collector will say, well, there were only a thousand of the other ones made. Yeah. You know, but... Um, you didn't at want the, that. You wanted a no, you the, wanted a, a fairly accurate Starsky and Hutch car. At the end of the day, you want something that looks show quality, that's beautiful. If it's original, fine. If it's not, and somebody took the time to make the replica, and people come in and look at it and just say, "Wow," yeah, it doesn't make any difference. No, it doesn't. In your garage, this this new garage you've had yeah. has been packed. Because uh, every time we've been down here, I mean, that's yeah. awesome. And you and you see the kids come in and you see the dads. Oh yeah. And oh, the yeah. faces just kind of go, they just sit and look, and then they start to smile. Everybody smiles. As they walk through and just go, oh, my gosh, this is, you know, and they go through and they start naming them. And they figure, you know, that, that's worth uh, a, a lot. That's worth a lot. Well, Mike, thank you for sharing the, uh, your story on this beautiful Starsky and Hutch Gran Torino. My pleasure. Thank you. What a stunning replica. People can come out. You know, we have our shows uh, last Saturday of the month. We raise every uh, month we have a charity that we support, yep. and uh, 8 to 11, and 8 to noon, and have them come out and visit us. And you can see these cars in person. Right. Thanks for watching.